this of a trap, shall we? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. If you're returning, what's good, my G Guys, I'm so sorry. I have to keep making sure that I'm in focus because I haven't got my contacts in, so your girl can see. Hi guys, if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, what's good? <laughs> Hope you're good bitch so i've come to the realization <laughs> that i have not done a let's have a chat video in a book of a, a book of a while haven't i it's been so long i don't know if my last one was six months ago a year ago all i know is it's been six months plus but before i get into everything i just want to give a shout out to braids by nads she is slay <laughs> my head she really went and did her damn thing she does braid styles she does um what is it she does cornrows she does the feeding braids she does any type of braid styles and i just want to give a huge huge shout out to her because i'll have her name on the screen um my honey she made me look cute uh, every single video for the rest of october and obviously for future videos as well i'm always going to support black owned businesses and i think we all should as well and it shouldn't just be just for black history month that we should be supporting supporting yeah. it shouldn't just be october that we are supporting black owned businesses or black pound day we should be doing it all the time put money in our brothers and sisters pockets because <laughs> we need it if you are a black owned business and you want to collab hit me up bitch <laughs> um, and my email is going to be down below I always leave my emails down below and also just DM me on any of my socials so guys I literally had to switch my lights around I'd recently bought new lighting and because I'm trying to do more sit down and talking videos so I literally bought new lighting and I'm trying to figure out myself oh, aren't I <laughs> sorry for talking too damn much but let's get on with today's video before we get into today's video please grab a drink notice anything different i'm not drinking beer i would love to be drinking beer but they ain't paying me so <laughs> we ain't trying to give free promo because this is quite a tough a touchy like a hard topic i guess to speak about so grab a drink let's have a chat i want to speak about mental health today mental health is not the easiest thing to speak about it's like it's such a touchy subject and it's such a it's hard it's really hard and because yeah it's really hard so i don't even know how to start this i really really don't know i just want to because i every time i have a video idea i like to speak of my own experiences so let me start off by saying i have had the hardest few days or a week or two honey remember how i have my own problems and um certain things trigger me certain things really um trigger me yeah but i don't know all my triggers i know certain ones but i don't know all of them i'm gonna go i'm gonna go throughout life <laughs> learning my triggers but i can never um avoid all of them because some people are speaking about certain topics or you see something and you can't really do anything apart from remove yourself from that situation or you can't actually remove yourself from that situation so you just have to learn to um deal with them i guess and that is the hardest thing obviously i'm so open with you guys but i'm not all the way open and i'm like i feel like i could only speak about certain things or um give advice i guess with certain things when i'm fully healed but <laughs> honey um i have been drinking my way throughout the few weeks a few like the throughout the few days and the two weeks because it's been hard like i don't know how to deal with certain things and i had a therapist and i decided to because everything was going so well i'm thinking you know what maybe i don't need therapy no more maybe i, don't, I, I fucking don't now i'm like <laughs> i need your 
I'm now I'm just, every time I'm just emailing her, I'm like, we've got emergency sessions, are you available? Are you too? And yeah, I realized that um, my men I'm very, very fragile. So my mental health is the most important thing to me. And I, f that sh I feel, to be honest, mental health should be the most important thing to for everybody. Your health, physical health, and mental health. Your health always, always has to come first. And if anything gets in the way of that, Cut it off. <laughs> cut it all off. If anything gets in the way of that, honey, you just better remove yourself, cut it off because that is not benefiting you. Self love starts with self. Like, you have to love yourself, look after yourself, look out for yourself. And my thing is that I am very, um, I think a lot. <laughs> Obviously everybody does but I think a lot when it comes to my emotions especially because I'm a very emotional person like I feel things ex oh, very very intensely like very intensely so when all these things are going on in the world I start to be down and I start to isolate myself I start to drink a lot more than usual and I really drink a lot so imagine how much more I'd have to drink um, I start popping um, cans at like 10 a.m. in the morning and and I'm like, okay, right, this is not normal. I do enjoy cans, but there's certain times that I start drinking or certain days that I do. I don't drink every day. But yeah, when it starts to become like a, sorry, I'm using my hands a lot, sorry. So when it becomes like a, a daily thing and a morningly thing that is healthy. So I realized that there's something going on and I like to think and be like, okay, what is upsetting me? What happened that, what changed? Because I, I mentally don't know what is going on. I know I'm upset. I don't know why I'm upset. So I start to evaluate everything. And I'm like, okay, what happened? What changed? Like, how am I feeling? Really, And I write down my feelings. Now I journal. So if, like, I feel bad. I feel negative feelings. And there's always anger and sadness always at the forefront. So I'm like, okay, let me digest all the others and really understand how I'm feeling so I could work through it and then also find out what the fuck is bothering me because I do not know. And I realize I redirect my anger to different situations. Guys, English is, I'm really fighting English these days. So <laughs> I use words that I think fits a sentence and it, I will not be using it in the right context. So I apologize if <laughs> my English is a bit higgy. Anyways, as long as you understand the point that's all that matters english is not my first language anyway so i like to redirect my anger so i have been so upset over something um this week like something triggered me last week and then as soon as i'm like i i, I learn about that thing that hurt me i'm like oh okay whatever like my, my first initial thought was like, okay, whatever, it's fine. We're not gonna let this trigger us. We're not gonna let it bother us. And then I start to read that. I start to think about all the other things that pissed me off within the last month or so. And then I start to redirect my anger to that. And I am mad at this girl. Obviously I have a reason to be mad at somebody, but then I am mad at somebody completely different for something that is so tiny and so minor. And remember I'm a Gemini, so. I do not forget. <laughs> I do not forget. <laughs> so my mind is like, okay, you're angry at this person. And this is the, I'm directing it at this point. You're angry at this person. It really pissed you off. When you found out about something that that person did, you didn't really take out your anger fully. So now is the opportunity to take out your anger. Take out your hunger. Don't provoke meat anger. Don't provoke me to anger. I start being angry at the wrong things and that's just my body or my brain or my mentals trying to take out anger at something else and that doesn't help my mentals. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be a little bit everywhere in this video because I'm still thinking about certain things or trying to put things the right way. Me re redirecting my anger doesn't really help or doesn't really help me digest a certain situation. So then I have to sit down and really think, Pearl, is this what you're really angry about? And if it's yes, 
why are you angry how did that make you feel like is there a way to make you less angry redirect your anger i don't know no, don't, don't redirect like just make yourself feel better but do it in the most healthiest way and the way that you're not affecting other people and also guys i'm huge on speaking to people i will even go speak to strangers in a bathroom like you know you meet the loveliest girls in the toilets i will, there was a time i was talking to like a four-year-old woman um we were still there for, for like an hour my boyfriend's just standing outside and just knocking because i have uh, <laughs> i'm petrified to go to, the, to like public toilets by myself i always have to be with somebody or my boyfriend has to come with me but stand outside the women's toilets he always looks at like that creep but for my own personal like safety like i have to i have to feel safe so he <laughs> bless him he has to stand outside and just wait with me or his brothers if i have to force his brothers to be quite honest or just anybody that i fully trust or just go in the toilet with a female so i can never go to like public restrooms by myself unless i am bursting and there's nobody to go in there with me like unless it's a desperate desperate situation so sorry the speaking speaking to people really helps as i was saying i was speaking to a 40 year old woman in the toilet for an hour she was telling me everything i was telling her everything we we're sharing life stories and when we left we felt like we just did a free therapy session i was helping her she was helping me honey so i'm just like oh, i feel a bit better like i always feel so much better once i speak about my emotions i always have to speak about my emotions i can't bottle things in there's only a certain period of time that i can bottle things in before it it explodes because it's going to explode and then it exploding you're gonna be mad at the wrong things you're gonna explode at the wrong things or people just think you're mad they will think you're crazy <laughs> oh people will think you are mad because you're like they'll think you're tapped because you're mad at um not putting the the milk back in the fridge and you are crying about it you're doing all of these things and honey it's not it's not so speaking to people speaking to your close friends your boyfriends your therapist i highly highly recommend therapy after bashing it and a few videos now i'm like mm, therapy's right i like her or whatever as amazing as it is to have friends and people to speak to about certain things and everything um you always this is one thing i've recently learned you always have to make sure that that person is mentally strong enough or they are not going through anything themselves because me i'm an empath i take on everybody's problems so when somebody comes to me i'm going through my own shit they don't know that but when they come to me and be like oh let me tell you about this this, this this is going on i take on people's things like i and it makes me sick like i start to lose weight i don't eat properly i i don't sleep i have start having night sweats my temperature goes up um like i literally burn my boyfriend guys this i am a bit of a dramatic queen but this i'm being dead serious and he could even i'm very very dramatic and he will bounce up and down telling the world that i'm the most dramatic person but when it comes to my temperature he will tell the truth he will tell you the truth i get very hot very very hot like my body like my temperature gets very hot and that only happens when obviously when i'm no even when i'm ill i don't even get hot I've, i think i've had a fever once in my life but my body gets hot when i'm not okay like i'll be sleeping i'll just turn around to cuddle him he just this man will just be elbowing me telling me elbowing wow this man will just be elbowing me telling me to get off him because i am burning his back and guys i get very hot like my body cannot take stress it cannot take any type of inconvenience i am being dead serious i can't take inconveniences i cannot take stress i cannot take nothing negative because i am a butterfly i'm a positive butterfly honey anything negative anything bad is not a bit of me it's not so um i take on people's problems i take on people's issues and it affects me more than it affects them 
like physically i will lose weight like i'm already slim i'm already like a slim vibes you know what i mean so for me to go and lose weight i look sick so i did everything okay is everything all right at home like oh uh, but it's because somebody else's problems are on my shoulders moral of the story is always make sure that that friend that you're going to speak to or unload on or unload to that friend that you're going to speak to basically they are mentally okay and they are not going through things themselves even though i know in life nine times out of ten people are going through stuff and it's just you just always have to check in with that strong friend because that strong friend is probably the one that's going through the worst things you unloading on them day in day out it's not helping them it's not helping their situation you know what i mean so always always check in on your friends oh and sorry i have something in my eye and also on the topic of being sure that like making sure that your friend is okay before unloading my therapist made me realize that she was like um because i get so upset because some of my friends i have friends to speak to about emotions i have friends that we go out and have a good time and we don't speak about emotions we just get drunk or i have friends that um you, you know everybody has different friends with different things so i was telling her that i i get upset that i can't speak to certain friends about things and she because i don't know we just find it very awkward or they are awkward or just it's just uncomfortable and she made me realize that some people are going through their own shit or even when they're not going through their own shit it's just that your problems are triggers for them so they are completely fine but you can digest things and you want to solve things some people want to bottle and just leave things or they solve or go through things in their own way and then they will come back to you when they're absolutely fine but when you are trying to force them to unload things or to speak to them about certain things you are triggering them that's why it's uncomfortable for them to speak about emotions because they aren't as because everybody's obviously strong <laughs> they aren't as strong as you or like they aren't as um advanced emotionally as you i don't know if i'm making sense you just have to be careful so that's that's the one that i'm, I'm a bit stuck on i'm not right so what do i do what do i say <laughs> what the fuck but it's just some it's a work in progress to be honest and just always be there for your friends emotionally people are so so different i'm the most emotional person that i know i crave absolutely everything so i don't know and i always used to think me being so emotional was such a bad thing was such a bad trait and even my family my mom has always said to me like she's always been petrified of me first of all moving out of the house move me finding a boyfriend and me like how i would be with my mother in law or parents in law because of how emotional i am so she's always been scared of like what if they take advantage or what if they're like this is a bit weird or she thinks that people will think i have mental health issues because of the way i cry so much or i'm so emotional but my therapist said <laughs> sorry guys i'm just gonna be my therapist said my therapist said my therapist said but it's like i'm learning so much more about myself from her and uh, my therapist just said that people that could digest emotions or could feel things instead of just shoving it to the back of their heads or like dealing with emotions and feelings is very fucking hard so if you can do that you're strong like that's strength because some people that seem strong that don't deal with their emotions or doing all of this i'm not saying that they're not strong but there's a certain level of strength you know what i mean not trying to show off or nothing but a bit too strong and on the topic of me saying like how what you're going through could trigger them or you're okay with speaking about certain things but they aren't because it's a trigger for them everybody's on a different healing path everybody's on a completely different healing path for me i thought if i bottled things in like and i deal with it and then i speak about it afterwards it's fine it works for me for a little while but then i started to realize that me speaking about things helped so much quicker and it made me heal so much quicker and it just made me feel better so much quicker and it's just different people are just different everybody's just on a different healing path and guys 
be gentle and kind to yourself because you need it like you really need it me especially i get so annoyed at myself i'm like oh well, why did i cry so much like why did i have to let myself feel everything you have to let yourself feel the emotions instead of just pushing it back I was just oh I'm gonna appear weak. Oh I'm gonna I'm gonna look like a mad woman just crying every second. <sighs> Let yourself feel and be kind to yourself. Stop thinking negative thoughts about yourself. Stop being mean to yourself because you thinking all these things you're manifesting it into your life. By the way, <laughs> you're really manifesting it into your life. Always make sure you feel everything feel everything <laughs> because if you do not feel them if you don't let your body feel and feeling everything's like basically you're digesting everything so if it takes you like two days to cry over a boyfriend or smash things i mean over an ex-boyfriend and smash things take the two days off do all of that if it takes you five months take five months feel every emotions for me like i feel like the longest time it took me to get over something was two and a half years <laughs> And that was the ghetto, not the ghetto. Oh, 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 oh. I took my time to feel everything. And once I felt everything, I was like, oh. feel fucking fantastic. <sighs> Guys, this one is, I really love this one. And it's, I love this point and it's really important. And I could be an author at this point because all the bullet points I was writing down, honey, author or for p p5 sorry guys i just came out the shower so i awed myself up i could barely open this never let hard situations or like bad situations harden you never and that's one thing i feel like made me feel strong because the amount of shit <laughs> honey the amount of things that i went through in my life is crazy but i always think i could have gone through worse and i love my personality like i i don't know this is my biggest flex <laughs> or whatever but i have a lit personality i have a bomb personality and i feel like i just don't let hard like bad or negative or very very hard situations harden me if that like it just makes me stronger because i'm like okay right that's something to speak about and that's something to help other people about it makes me aware of like right other people have gone through other things or other people have gone through the same thing as you and it makes me empathize with people a lot like i'm very empathetic is that a word i'm very empathetic i am very um like i know how to put myself in people's shoes i know how to to feel other people's feelings and i do that so well because i'm i'm fucking losing weight and i'm getting sick over people's situations but i'm very empathetic continue to be that nice girl nice boy that you are continue to be that nice person that you are continue to spread love and always be mindful of your mood the other day i was in tesco's that's a supermarket in the uk so i was in tesco and i like there was this woman I was on the phone to my aunt and then like there was this woman i'm letting people this woman is letting me go but i'm letting people go so i didn't see her i was letting people go and then she's looking at me she goes, what are you waiting for just go go like i'm waiting here go and i'm looking at her and i'm like i'm here trying to be a nice person to let people go and i appreciate you being a nice person and letting me go while i'm here letting people go but i guys the way when the way i looked at her yeah like I sat there in the aisle she had left the aisle like two minutes later and I sat there and I'm like like my blood like I started to get sweaty like I was thinking of all the cuss words I was thinking how rude I'm going to be to her I was thinking are you mad are you are you right in the head are you okay are you alright <laughs> I was thinking of all the the amount of anger 
Don't provoke me to anger. Don't provoke me to anger. And my aunt was like, Pearl, people are going through things of their own. They are probably like the littlest thing, like how you get mad at Jay or how you get mad at me or your cousin or your friend or just how you get mad at somebody for something so little because you've had a bad day or because something really big is happening in your life that's very negative and like you're dealing with all these emotions so like you just blurt things out or you're just like oh like you're just frustrated and the littlest things just tip you over the edge think about that woman so if you had to go and argue with her and cuss her out imagine how bad that would have made how worse that would have made her day she could be going through like like terminally like life-threatening things she could be going through so many bad things so you going to do all of that you're just adding to the pile you're just adding to the pile of things that's just on her shoulders I was like, okay, that's so true. I had to woosa, woosa as much as I fucking could. Smell flowers or something and just relax my nerves because my nerves <laughs> were up there. <laughs> but then I'm like, but what if she's not? And what if she just wants to be a dickhead that day? Like, what if she actually's not going for anything? She had a great day or whatever and she just has anger and she just wants to be a dickhead to me. What then? And she goes, you will never know, but you will not gamble and you will not find out. So just be nice and be the bigger person and move on. And I was thinking, I'm on annual leave for being the bigger person. Like I'm my bigger person um, thing. I'm on annual leave. <laughs> I am on annual leave. I'm not taking nobody's shit. The next one is love yourself. Guys, this one, to be honest, I really can't comment too much about on because I am still on my way to loving myself and you see like I I feel like I am more in love with myself with things that are internally that things that will never go away and things that a lot of people love as well you know aside from looks like I'm not going to look the same forever I'm gonna get better <laughs> I'm gonna be better I'm gonna be the baddest bitch ever I love what I look like not all the time but I know I'm not a, a bad looking person and I know that um, but I love that about myself but then I also love more that I love my how I am internally more like I love what I'm like I love my personality one thing I need to learn is to stop blaming my toxic traits on my star sign and that's what you need to do as well sis because it is not healthy you know what I mean it's not healthy but as I sign does add to it. Guys, appreciate everybody that is trying to help you. Appreciate everybody that is trying to help with your emotions or help you with certain situations that you're going through. Appreciate everything. The last point I'd like to say is it's okay not to be okay. Like it sounds so cliche and so corny, but it's really okay not to be okay. Like some people make it see like, oh, no, I gotta be the strong one, I gotta be this, you know, going through things like it's not okay. Like I have to, oh, bear shit to do that, da, da, da. It's okay not to be okay. Like it's absolutely fine. You're human, you go through things, you have emotions, you are like, baby, pamper yourself. If it's reading, if it's drinking, oh, oh no, actually, I can't really promote drinking when you're not okay because that will turn people into alcoholics no and it's a bad habit as well it'll turn them into like functional alcoholics you know don't worry pamper yourself do your nails go out shopping like do your hair read garden um cook what else clean um speak to your friends go swimming do anything that you consider as pampering um do anything anything that makes you feel at ease anything that makes you feel calm collected that it relaxes your nerves do it yeah, just be nice just be nice i think that's the whole thing of the video just be nice 
so yeah i love you guys so much thank you so so much for everything thank you for watching this video i love you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye